Hey everyone, and welcome to Tonic Tutorials. I'm Jason Constantine, and I'll be walking you through today the new P8, which is a revolutionary new device with Tonic that allows you to take tableside ordering and payments at the ease of using a handheld device. To get started, we'll want to log into the iPods portal. To do so, log in and go down to your Steam and hit Edit Parameters to get started. Here you'll need to enter the TPN number, which you'll receive from the box or the device itself. Click up into the search box and you want to put your TPN number in here. We're going to use our TPN number for today. Once it comes up, select that TPN number. It's going to give you a list of devices. Make sure that TPN number matches the one that you put in and select that device. Once you select that device, you want to scroll over to Add Manage Apps. Click on Add Manage Apps. And then you'll see a list of all the value added apps. You'll want to scroll either, it could be at the top or within this list. Find Tonic. Click on Tonic. Make sure you click on the launch on restart. Then next you're going to have to sign the build. Best practice is to always assign the latest build version, which for today is 404. Once you select that build, scroll on down to the bottom and you want to hit update. It'll show you that the app was updated successfully and you will now see your ad manage app down here under value added apps. Next, you want to gather that information about that device to plug into the tonic back of the house. To do so, you'll click on About Device, scroll down to Parameters, and you want to go over to the tab Integration. Within Integration, you're going to find your Auth token. You're going to want to copy this information because you're going to have to plug this into the tonic back office. Simply select that information, and you can hit the Control C on your keyboard or your laptop and uh, copy the auth token. Next, once we have that information, you'll want to keep that TPN number handy as well because you're going to have to plug that in as well as this auth token. So now we'll navigate to the tonic back of the house, log into the tonic back of the house, navigate to your setup and your payment terminals. In here, you'll find that P8 that was configured when you were setting up the store in the partner portal. Click on that P8 in question. Scroll on down, and you want to have to change the type. It defaults to PAX, and we need to set this for the right Deja Vu type, which for today is Deja Vu DV Pay Light. Once you select that, you will next have to hit Save to see the different sections or the um, areas where you're going to plug in the auth token and the TPN number. Click back on that P8, scroll down, and now you'll have a token area, a URL, and a TPN area. As you notice, my TPN is already in there, and all I would have to do is copy and paste the auth token that we received from the iPods portal. Next, we want to navigate down to the URL. And I'm changing that because by default, it will be tech. You will have to change that to .com. Confirm your port is 8000. IP is always going to be 127.0.0.1, so leave that alone, but confirm it's there. Also, you want to confirm the connection timeout is set to 1000. Once you have all this information plugged into Tonic, also make sure you check credit authorized if they want to do tabs. Hit save. Once you save the information for the P8, we're going to need to get a registration code and a store ID to set up the P8 on the front of the house. To do so, let's navigate over to Terminals, which is either under Setup Terminals or our shortcut icon right here for Terminals. We'll locate our P8 terminal, which is the HH1 on this device. And we're going to want to scroll down to hit the registration code. This will provide a code for us where when we start up the front of the house, we'll be able to enter that code and the store ID that is per location to register that device for this back office. Once the registration code is created, you want to write that down 
along with the store ID, because we'll need to plug these in the front of the house after we download the P8 Tonic app. You'll also notice in terminals, once that handheld is connected to the back of the house, you'll be provided some basic fonts to allow you to open up Tonic on that device and start adjusting it according to the merchant's requests. These fonts will allow you to use it in its base form out the box. Now let's get into the actual setup of the Deja Vu P8 device. After you take the device out of the box, we want to power it on. The power button is located on the right top side of the device. You simply click on the power button and you'll come to the Deja Vu home screen. Before we download the app, we got to make sure that the device is connected to the network and we need to make sure that the network we're connected to is the same as the POS terminals and the rest of the system. To start, we just swipe up on the device, click on settings, find your network and internet, which is at the top, select, you might already be connected if not, <clears throat> select your Wi-Fi and the correct Wi-Fi for that POS network. Once you're done, you can swipe up or hit the little uh, uh, circle button and go back to the home screen. Now that we're connected to the Wi-Fi, we want to make sure that the date and time is actually set as well, which is also located under settings, system, date and time, and set the date according to where you're located. Next, after the network and the date and time have been established, we need to install Tonic via the Deja Vu DV Store. Swipe up on your device, click on DV Store, and as you notice, it's going to download the Tonic app. Now, if the prior steps of loading in the iPods portal were not done, you would not see this Tonic app and it would not automatically facilitate the loading of the app. It automatically starts the app, and this is where we wrote down the store ID previously and that registration code from the back of the house to enter into the front of the house to register this, this device. Click on store ID for this, 1886, and we have a reg code of 1123. Hit the check. Tonic will now load on the device, and now you're able to start using the device after you've downloaded the Tonic app and it's loaded on the handheld, you will next need to register the EMV device for the P8. Log into the handheld, click on EMV, click register at the top. Once it's registered, hit OK, and then you can back out and log out of the terminal. This concludes the setup of the Deja Vu P8 handheld terminal. Some of the hardware features of the uh, Deja Vu P8 terminal, as we stated before, turning it on with the power button right here. We also have the charging port where you will dip the credit cards here at the bottom, where you will tap the credit cards at the top. And then also on the back side, the pa paper. You just flip this little lid up, put your paper in, close the lid, and you're ready to go. With the setup complete, you should conduct some final testing to make sure everything's working properly. Okay, so that's communicating with the Platonic POS and that the payment confirmation is received with the bank or processing company to make sure the transactions are going through accurately. Also take this time to train your restaurant staff on how to use the P8. Cover basic usage, troubleshooting, and payment processing. This will help them get comfortable with the device and ensure smooth operations. But like any electronic device, the P8 might encounter occasional issues. Here are a few troubleshooting tips to first look at if you encounter any issues. Check the firmware update. Regularly make sure that you're on the latest firmware. Ensure the device is connected to the correct network. If the communication fails, try restarting both the P8 and the Tonic POS. If issues persist, you can contact Tonic Support or Deja Vu. And that's it. You have now learned how to configure, maintain, and set up the Deja Vu P8 device. Thanks for watching and happy selling.